When this guy saw the message on his receipt, he instantly felt sick to his stomach. Curtis Mays was enjoying a celebratory meal out when his order was subject to some confusion. It wasn't a big deal, but after he'd finished eating, he requested to see his receipt anyway. As he read over the note, though, a sickening message caught his eye. Mays is a grandfather from Seacliff, New York. In June 2018, the family man had traveled to New York City to celebrate Father's Day with his daughter and granddaughter. During the afternoon, the threesome visited the Bohemian Hall and Beer Garden in Astoria where they enjoyed some lunch. The family outing got off to a pleasant start. Mays had his daughter and granddaughter for company and their waitress seemed very friendly. Talking about the server in June 2018, the grandfather told WABC, she was very nice. She comes up to the table, hi, how are you doing? Mays ordered a cheeseburger, but after eating his meal, he claimed there had been a mix up with his order. As a result, he demanded to see the receipt. But when the waitress brought the slip over, Mays made a disturbing discovery. While Mays requests for a well done burger, toasted bread and cheddar cheese had all been noted, there was an extra side that the grandfather certainly had not ordered. That's because on the receipt was an instruction to please spit in it too. Understandably, Mays was outraged. Had his waitress really asked kitchen staff to put saliva in his burger? And if so, had they done it? The distraught grandfather later explained, I ate my burger already. I felt like I was going to throw up. Eager to get to the bottom of the stomach churning incident, Mays turned to his waitress for answers. I asked her, why would you do this? And she couldn't explain it, he revealed. Furthermore, the server also denied any involvement in the matter. However, Mays was not going to let the issue drop. Instead, he continued to quiz his waitress. I was like, who prints out the receipt? He revealed to WIBC. So she said, I take it up there and print it myself. So you did it. Why are you lying about it? She just walked off. Not appeased by his waitress explanation, Mays decided to take the matter further. So he approached the restaurant manager to explain what had happened. The manager in turn fired the waitress on the spot and offered Mays and his family a full refund. However, despite the manager's efforts to resolve the issue, Mays wasn't completely happy. He was saying, how can we compensate you? The Grand had revealed. I was like, how can you compensate somebody for spitting on your food? I ate this already. Following his ordeal, Mays decided to share his story with local news outlets in New York. And it soon turned out that he wasn't alone in thinking the note on the receipt was unacceptable. In fact, most people were as disgusted as he was. After IBC7 reporter C. Fon Kim shared an image of May's receipt on Twitter, one user replied, I hope the guy is suing. Why I stopped eating at restaurants? Customer service in America is at an all-time low. Disgusting. However, despite the initial outrage, some users weren't convinced that the waitress had meant to write such a disgusting instruction. In fact, many believed she had simply mistyped a note telling kitchen staff to cut May's burger in half. On seeing the image of May's bill, one user wrote, that is not a receipt. That is a kitchen chit. It is extremely clear to anyone who has ever worked in a restaurant that the server was typing in a request to split the burger in two. But that explanation simply didn't wash with some commentators. If she truly meant split in two, then why could she not explain the error in a professional, courteous manner instead of just walking away? One tweeter asked, whether the waitress note was intentional or not, she was dismissed from the restaurant. Later, her former manager said he'd never had an issue with her before, but the instruction had been unacceptable, even in a stressful food service situation. In an attempt to reassure customers, the restaurant boss said that it was unlikely that kitchen staff did actually spit in May's food. However, he added that he understood why the grandfather had been so upset by the incident. The occurrence certainly appears to be out of character for the Bohemian Hall and Beer Garden, which boasts an A rating from the New York Department of Health. It also has a four-star rating on restaurant review site Yelp. It may be an urban myth that restaurant staff spit in food if a customer is difficult. Nevertheless, some diners are so worried about getting an unwanted extra with their meal that they'd rather not complain or send food back at all. And perhaps they're right to worry. The fact of the matter is that eating out requires placing quite a lot of trust in the hands of strangers. There's no way of knowing if Mays did or didn't consume someone else's saliva that fateful Father's Day, but the thought alone might be enough to put him off restaurants forever.